Hello everyone and welcome to Aviation A to Z. Today's topic is really sensitive and made after analyzing various dates and articles. But all data provided here is approximate and real data can vary. So don't take it as actual data but a comparison which will give you idea about AME field. Also our motto is not to demotivate anyone but to give you real facts about the field. Also we are not against anyone and ready to work together for betterment of aviation field. So let's get started. First of all I would like to present the states of number of AME colleges and how many approximate student passing out each year. So in India there is 45 DGC approved CR147 colleges which is according to 10th July 2019 report. To get complete list visit our Instagram page link is in description. Earlier before CR147 came into existence there were 51 E part 8 DGC approved colleges having various different approvals in both mechanical and avionic stream. Now after analyzing each and every college's approval we found out the number of student passing out from AME colleges 7600 for E part 8 and now it's approximately around 6000 for CR147 this is estimation value and not exact data so last year in 2019 we got around 7600 fresh students and this year we will get around 6000 new fresh students so that makes a total of 13600 students passed out recently or yet to be passed out now there is no exact data on number of AME jobs created in 2019 or 20 or even earlier but by going through various articles asking some of field people and my experience so far has come to conclusion that there is less than 600 jobs per year for ame field fresh students now this is less than 10% if anyone want to challenge this can do it but they must give us exact number of students which are fresher and got job immediately after completion of course Now this is sad reality. I also know that everyone is not eligible for jobs. But if we consider that there are 3000 eligible students out of 6000, still there is 80% worthy students struggling. Now I will leave it to you to decide who is responsible for it. And I hope our data is wrong and there is more jobs in field. I really wish that. Do let us know what you think in comment section. Now I would like to give you data according to my senior pass outs. That is around 180 students. my senior that is 2019 pass out batch many got ogt but only few students got the job the field is very struggling and data demotivates us but still i will never say that don't get into this field because this field has lots of potential and we all can see it but the real situation is little unsatisfactory and many of you will agree with me again i will say if you are in the field work hard smart clear your modules train yourself and hope for the best let us see some factors affecting the ame field number 1 lack of awareness there are very less people who knew about this field and due to this it's very underrated there are less than 50 colleges all over the india and even less vacancies so it's the responsibility of our authority to over students about it about the career option available and also guide them Number 2 lack of transparency the ame course is very hidden and dgc is directly responsible for this they don't keep everything transparent they conduct examination not on exact dates they don't provide answer key and they don't provide us our results therefore we don't know what went wrong and how we can stop repeating that same mistake again and again there are mistakes in questions and we don't know whom to tell these things are making this field more underrated So please make our examination system transparent. This is a possible solution to uplift this field. Number 3, no degree graduation or diploma. This is the course where after paying huge amount studying for 2 to 3 years and clearing various modules you still be called 12th pass. This is sad reality and I wonder they have not done anything for this. Those 80% eligible students are struggling and sandwich because they cannot get job anywhere apart from AME field. Also, BTEC engineers are getting job in AME field. Now we are not against anyone, but we are telling you the real truth in the field. Now provide us at least a diploma so that we can work anywhere with it. 
I will make a detailed video on it. So stay tuned and support us as usual. Number 4. No portal to express your views and recheck your marks. Now after completion of module exam, we just get a message that you are fail or pass. But there is no provision to challenge it like in JE and NEET or any university entrance test. They also not provide us an answer key or master key so that students can know their mistakes and correct them. Number 5. Copied course. Our course is copied from other countries and it takes time for our authority to educate themselves about it. We have reference book of USA that is far for India's DGC exam. Also, we have various dozens of books for single modules. Now here, DGC can work on it and publish its own official book like FA and YASA do. When all these things will be corrected, then only our AME field can progress and move ahead. I repeat, it's our humble request as we want peace and want our AME and aviation industry to prosper. We also want our Indian aviation industry to be known for its transparency and ease of business. We want happy employees, students and teachers who don't regret on choosing this field, instead feel pride in their decision. So it's an humble request to consider this suggestion and make necessary amendments. And we will keep on tweeting and mailing until we get the satisfactory results. That was all for today. Keep learning, keep watching, stay safe. Jai Hind!